this team in sacks last year. You lead the county this year. You're playing on a defense that is like running an historic run right now. Just talk about the season and what you guys have done in the past and now in the playoffs against some tough offenses. Uh, mostly we just preach team defense, all working together, you know, from the D-line to linebackers to DBs. And we just all work together and it comes all together. One of the guys that not enough too many people know in the county, but you continue to play game in and game out, putting up big numbers, and then tonight with a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Uh, just talk about that play and your performance. Um, mostly, I picked up multiple fumbles, and I just they always get on me about uh, not taking it to the house, so I had to pick one up and take it to the house. Is that the first one you you have scored on yes, the sir. defense side first, of the ball? Yes, sir. First high school touchdown. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. So what's different about this defense compared to the ones you've played on before? Uh, what's different about this one is we all we all know how to play together. You know, it's a special group. We've been together for a long time. Me and Trey have been playing since third grade in Pop Warner. Uh, and our defense last year, I think, was just as good. But this year, I, I don't know what it is, but we're just coming out. We're playing lockdown defense. Yeah, this team comes in here scoring 40 points a game. The best offense on paper that you've played all season and you completely shut them down. Um, you have to be really satisfied with that. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we, we came into the week, we watched a ton of film, practiced a ton of different looks, um, and we came out, we played assignment football, and we got it done. How much did you want that touchdown on that? On your oh, I, I was trying. I, I really wanted it, but, you know, set up the offense, and they ended up scoring off of it. So. Yeah. Oh, Now, we don't know the outcome, but it most likely it will be Wataga. You guys went up to their place last mm -hmm. year. They'll be coming down here. Um, how confident do you feel uh, coming in here? You guys just don't lose home playoff games. You've never lost to a team in the 828 area code. Uh, how, how do you feel coming with that game? You know, it, we have to feel confident. You have to. Um, there's a big, there's a fine line between confidence and then cockiness. Um, so I don't want to say too much about that, but we got to be on our game and do what we need to do. You know, I think these, these guys, you know, I've said it a lot this week, is they just come and they just enjoy hitting people and they enjoy flying to the football and hitting people hard. And, you know, we're a lot more athletic as we've been and, and, and stronger, I think, and that's helped. But we, we've been able to add some stuff in and, you know, mix some different looks in. And so many guys are so versatile that they can do everything, whether they blitz off the edge or, you know, stop the run. So it's just a, it's a fun group to watch. And, and I know, you know, as far as practice, it sucks to go against them. So I know what everybody else feels. But, you know, I think it's made the whole team better for sure. Word coming into this game, obviously you've had some tough opponents, but this yeah. is your tough, yeah. toughest offensive opponent right. on paper coming in, and you completely mm -hmm. shut them down. What was the what was the game plan coming in? Obviously the quarterback was the concern. But... Yeah, the last two weeks we've had some scrambling quarterbacks that you know we were concerned about. So you know we we had a great scout team look from uh, Cambridge was a scrambling quarterback, and we just had him run around for a while, and, you know just like chasing a, a greased pig, and he did a great job. And then you know I think they just step up to the challenge. You know they get challenged and saying that. This is the best defense that they're going to see, and you know they they or best offense. I'm sorry, and and I think our, our defense kind of says, okay, well we're up for the challenge, and, and they continue week in and week out to to step up to it. I was speaking with Joe, and you know he was a team leader in sacks last year, yeah. uh, county leader this year, scores a touchdown tonight. <laughs> not the not the biggest kid no. on the defense. Just talk about the presence that he brings and what he brings to this team right. week in and week out. He is extremely strong in the weight room, uh, but he's such a high motor guy that I mean, all, most of our kids are, but Joe especially. Like, he doesn't take a playoff. I mean, he is just relentless to the football. He's very smart. He knows you know multiple positions in our defense because he's played multiple and. Uh, you know, he just has a, has a knack to, to go get the ball, you know, and like I said, he's got a high motor. I mean, he gives us a great scout team look in practice as well. He just never, never stops. He just keeps going and going and going. And, you know, I think that's kind of how we pride ourselves on defense, and he's the epitome of it. Last question. Uh, you guys went up to uh, Daboon last year. Yeah. Beat Watauga pretty uh -huh. handily up there. Now you, they'd be potentially coming down here next right. week. Um, how do you guard against any type of overconfidence? Yeah, I mean, it's always tough with 16 and 17 year old kids, and you know they read the papers and all that. And you know we've told them from day one, put your blinders on. You know let's focus on the next step ahead. And 
Uh, you know, I think, and that's what I just told him in the huddle, don't look at last year. You know, whether it's Watauga or Mount Tabor, we've played both of them last year, but they're a new team uh, and we're a new team and, and you know, we got to make sure, you know, we're too far into this to, to not be mentally prepared. So I think our kids realize that they played in big games, they played in big atmospheres, and, and I think they understand if they become mentally prepared, I, you know, we feel good about, about any, really anything going on right now.